An injury plague spring training continues for the Dodgers at Camelback Ranch. With the Los Angeles Times, this is Andy McCullough. I'm Lindsay Theory. And Andy, today, Yasmani Grandal, he is the latest. He likely won't be available for opening day, and the Dodgers might have to find a replacement. Yeah, that's how it sounds right now, uh, just based on talking to Dave Roberts uh, heading into the afternoon here. Um, Grandal has had a forearm strain for the past couple of weeks. It was pretty much under control um, going into last weekend. He had a recurrence on a swing where his forearm felt sore and you know they were hoping they could get him back in a game by this Monday uh, Robert said that seems unlikely at this point so that means you know that they will be they will be less likely to sort of put him out on the opening day roster because if he has a recurrence in a couple weeks on opening day or at some point in that period of time he'll have to miss a full two weeks uh, you know on the disabled list this way they can backdate it and keep him out for only maybe a week five days something like that so you know they most likely it sounds like Grandal will start on the DL and they can mitigate his absence with AJ Ellis and Austin Barnes who's a rookie they really like. Moving down the injury list, Corey Seager. He was back taking at bats today, going from field to field. However, he has not been cleared to run. Yeah, still has been cleared to run, but Dave Roberts sounded more optimistic about that one. Um, you know, he's been able to run the bases in controlled environments, and he was doing some sprints today, but he hasn't been able to play the field or run the bases yet in an actual game. Uh, but Dave Roberts said he hopes that, you know, Seager's going to play in a major league game, which is kind of a, a big distinction uh, at this time of year. Um, in the next couple days. So he sounds optimistic about that. I guess we'll just, you know, we'll be here in a few days and we'll find out. Moving down to the list, one more guy, Howie Kendrick. In the locker room, he cracked a smile, said his body's just breaking down. But what do you think? What's he going to be available for? Yeah, it's been a really sunny camp, hasn't it? Um, yeah, that one seems like the most minor of all of them. It seems like his calf was tight and, you know, he's an older player and they don't want to burn him out. So um, he'll get a couple days off and then they'll see where he's at with that. And, you know, we'll just uh, at some point, maybe they'll just leave Camelback Ranch and just get the heck out of here and just avoid the hellish, you know, injury plagued monstrosity this spring has been. Can you tell people are ready to break spring training and actually play some ball? All right, that will do it for us from Camelback Ranch with Andy McCullough. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times.